What's going on guys, Big Mike, D717, I'll back with you here. So we're gonna skip just a little bit because I'm a few days after our first test session here on the Busa. I'm getting ready to prep it because we have to get Mickey's Busa and mine down to XDA this coming weekend. It's the 20, I believe it's the 20th? No, the 21st to the 23rd down at Maryland International Raceway in Buds Creek, Maryland. We'll be competing, at least for me, I'll be running Pro ET and then the Friday Night Gamblers race. Um, just to kind of see what the bike can do. So as you can see though, she's done. Um, I can't be any happier. If you can get any idea as to how the weekend went, I got some paint missing. So she squats a little bit now, but I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys check this stuff out. We got five pretty good passes in. And in between each of those passes, it was nothing but dialing in this Hayes slider. So this was our test to one, me get used to leaving off a button, which believe me, took me, took me like the first three passes to actually get used to leaving off the button. Um, I'm so used to trying to slip a clutch for the past, what, four or five years of running bikes. Leaving off a button is so weird to me, but go ahead guys, check this out. I'll be right back. going to do intermissions in between these passes so first pass out i dropped the two step i had 4200 rpm stall springs in the clutch which means that the clutch didn't engage until 4200 rpm or more so i dropped the two step way too low so it bogged really hard out of the hole but the other thing too is the bike kind of broke up a little bit i'm not sure if you guys could hear it in the video but the bike broke up just a little bit uh, came back and tried to diagnose that as well as the um, figuring out the clutch and the two-step to see what I could do to get a little bit quicker. But we ended up running an 887, which was a, what, a hundredth slower than my personal best, but we did it with five miles an hour less of speed. So kind of give and take on that, but go ahead and check out pass two. So we went ahead and raised up the two-step just a little bit um, to, I think I put it up to 4,000 RPM with 4,200 springs. Uh, and the bike chopped the 60 foot. So the first pass was a 1612 60 foot or somewhere around there. So we ended up chopping that down into the one fives on that pass. Still ran good. Uh, still had a little bit of breaking up. I wasn't quite sure uh, what was going on. So in the intermission between the passes, went ahead I've been talking with uh, Jeff Santine, which has another black Busa. He's a nitrous bike. Uh, he had the Haze, or actually he's the one that I bought the pink bike off of. So the Haze, he was giving me pointers on how to set it up. I talked with Tim Hayes, who actually makes the clutches to have his input to try to help me get this thing to go faster. So what we did is the stall springs, I actually tightened them down just one turn uh, for the socket, just to turn the nut down once on all six springs and then raise the two step. No, actually I kept the two step at 4,000. We went up again.
also guys going into that then too. So the next pass up. So again, getting the input from Jeff and them, I also figured out what the issue would probably was with the bike breaking up. So I think it was leaning out just a little bit because I found out that the fuel line, the way that I had it routed, which I'm going to fix out here tonight before we put it on the trailer is the fuel line actually got kinked. Um, so I'm going to try to address that because we kind of fixed it. The bike kind of stopped breaking up. It didn't hesitate. But the only thing I did notice is that the exhaust was getting increasingly hotter. So I'm not sure if the bike is running lean, which I'm going to pull the plugs and check to see if they're the right color. Uh, if they're not, then we might have a problem with maybe the fuel pump. But we got that addressed uh, for the runs up at Beaver to where the bike ran out the hole. It, it ran good. Um, but then we we started cutting down. So last year, I struggled to run in the 1.560s on a hand clutch with the turbo just because the bike would always try to wheelie and I just couldn't get it to go any faster. Like a 1.59 was about as fast as I could get without it pulling the front wheel off the ground. So we got started to break into the 1.5s and now, again, we're starting to raise the the stall RPM up, the tighter we make those springs, the more it increases the uh, RPMs that the clutch engages. So in order to combat that is we run, we, after every two revolutions I was doing for the springs, I was bumping the two step up a hundred RPM. And if I can keep it within two to 300 RPM of the stall speed or the stall RPM, the bike should be doing really good. So Went up and tried it again. Didn't do as good. The bike kicked out on us. So I can't really um, complain too much. I mean, it launched good. It was a little bit on my fault. I got towards the center line a little bit and she kicked out on me. But we're starting to get the 60 foots down a bit closer. Now, going up for the last run, we were in a rush because I ran the bike, didn't get a really good pass, and then I ended up coming back tried to let the bike cool down as soon as I possibly could, and then I was going to go up again. So the bike might have been a little bit too hot, or not necessarily too hot. It did cool down a pretty good bit, but it wasn't usually where I take it at. It was a little bit warmer than usual uh, for when I left my trailer. So going up for that last pass, we had the RPM, 4,100 RPM launch. I think roughly 43, 4,400 RPM on the... Um, yeah, on the stall springs. And we ended up cutting down to a 141 60 foot and running our personal best, which kind of blew my mind because the bike felt fast, but it did not feel that fast. But go ahead and check it out, guys. So guys, running at 8.49 at 100, what was it, 160 miles an hour. So the bike technically is slower in mile per hour, but because we're making up so much more in the 60 foot now, the ETs are so much better. So I do have a couple things to address on the bike here before we load it up for XDA, but we're going to do a little bit more tweaking while we're down at XDA. I have There'll be more guys there with slider experience than me that hopefully can help me uh, get this thing running a bit better, but I'm going to get back to trying to get this thing ready for XDA and hopefully we'll see some of you guys out there because this video should be live before we go down the XDA. But the bike's running great. I mean, in my opinion, I didn't think it was going to be as fast as it was, but then again, I was pushing for hopefully 
being able to run a seven. We broke into the eight eights on a short wheel, on a somewhat short wheelbase, and the bike ran phenomenally. So we're just gonna see what can happen now that it has longer wheelbase, the uh, 60 foots can get a bit faster, and just we're really gonna be cranking to see what she can do. So as always guys, I hope you liked the video. If you do, give it a thumbs up. If you know anything more about the bikes, more about the channel, more about anything, drop those comments down below. If you want to use any parts that I use, be sure to check those links down below to every company that pretty much I've bought parts through. There's a lot of private guys that really don't have massive companies, but they've helped me with custom parts, especially my buddy Vince, who did that beautiful uh, dump pipe there on the turbo. Hit the wrong button. I might have got Vince a new customer because there was a guy that has a turbo booster that was at the track that wants one of these exhausts. But check those, check that description down below. Check out the companies that I use and go support them as much as they support me with some of the stuff that I do here. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Hit that subscribe button along with the little bell for notifications. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Remember, ride safe, ride smart, always wear a helmet. See ya. Thank mm -hmm. you.